For many Indonesians who live or work in the capital, the journey home from work is often long and frustrating. This is typical late afternoon traffic in Jakarta. The chaos stands in contrast to the Mass Rapid Transit System or the MRT. The MRT speeds up our journey to reach our destination. We don't have to get stuck in traffic jams anymore, and it's also on time. The metro became operational in 2019. Close to 100,000 people use it every day. Jakarta is home to at least 10 million people. Another 20 million live in the surrounding towns. Many of them commute every day in and out of the capital. Now construction is underway for the second line of the train network. The expansion is made possible because of a loan of nearly $1 billion from Japan. Indonesia's president, Joko Widodo, says the metro has transformed Jakarta. He noted that mass transportation projects are costly but necessary. This will give support to Jakarta as a global city that is an agglomeration of surrounding cities, that is a civilization with truly modern transportation that will truly be present once the MRT is finished. Jakarta's air quality is often among the worst in the world. Residents are regularly advised to wear masks to protect themselves from harmful pollutants. Some estimates show emissions from cars account for around half of the city's air pollution. The impact is indeed very large. Jakarta is already experiencing acute congestion. Public transportation uses in Jakarta are only less than 20%. Even though, according to the Greater Jakarta Transportation Master Plan by 2030, there is a target of 60% of the population using public transportation. The growing public transportation network also includes a high-speed train to the city of Bandung and a light rail network which is also undergoing construction, extending the rail link to new areas to reach more commuters. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Jakarta. Well, that's it from me, Famila Malone, for this news hour. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.